Hey YouTube! Over the last week, there's been an explosion of activity in the Satisfactory speedrun community due to a new glitch we found called 007. This glitch allows you to produce effectively infinite resources at almost zero energy cost. It's reduced the time of the four package run from 17 hours and 53 minutes to just under four, and it keeps going lower. While streaming my attempts to retake first place on the leaderboard, somebody asked me how the glitch worked and I did a brief recap of the mechanics. Enjoy! Okay, so, we are using two different bugs here. The first is infinite production. Uh, AKA, what we've been calling the 007 glitch. So, what you do here is here, let me just drop in some biomass, right? Normally to have a machine work, you'd have to, you know, put in inputs and it turns into outputs. We all know that. However, uh, we figured out that if you copy, so there's a copy-paste mechanic, right? You can copy this, you can paste it somewhere else. If you copy this, if you copy the null recipe, aka 00, and we're in update 7, hence 007. <laughs> um, if you go in here, and this is producing, and you paste the null recipe, you get to this weird screen, and uh, as soon as you pick a recipe, it now produces without needing the input. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, we're taking 4 megawatts of power. How cool would it be if instead we took a lot less? So I'm going to underclock this, and then I'm going to paste. And just to demonstrate the point here, while I'm still in no recipe land, I'm going to overclock the 250%. Now, as soon as I select cable, it produces at 250%. And it's drawing zero megawatts of power. Technically, it draws non-zero. Um, I forget what it actually ends up working out to, because like these, when you underclock them all the way, they take like how much? Anyway, it's not taking zero power, but it's taking very little. So the flow is the flow is weird. It's underclock, paste empty, overclock, select recipe. Uh, and then what I do when I'm doing it in bulk is that uh, I will, let's say I have a few lined up, right? I will pick a recipe, underclock it, copy that, paste to all machines, and then I'll have another one here to copy the null recipe from. Now what I do is I prime it, paste it for these, and then on the last one I prime, paste, and overclock. Then I pick the recipe I want, copy that, and paste it here, and all three of these are going to be drawing effectively nothing. Yeah, it shows that it's taking 13.4, but as you can see, I'm still not drawing a single megawatt of power. <laughs> and so this will last for a long time. <laughs> Producing cable at, I will also note, 225 per minute. <laughs> One quick disclaimer. When you save the game and reload, all these settings are lost and get reset. So it's only active for a single session. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.